What's up, everybody, and welcome to The Ward Cast, the weekly podcast where we sit down with you to talk about what's going on here at The Ward Productions, go over video game news, chat about survival horror, machinima, and more. I'm one of your hosts, Sean Clark, alongside alongside Jazz Rich. Hey. Solid start. As always, you can find The Ward Cast on YouTube, uh, youtube.com forward slash The Ward Productions, and on Google Play. All you have to do is search for The Ward Cast. So, Jazz, how was your week? It was awesome. Great. Let's let's keep going. <laughs> <What'd you do? laughs> how was your week? What, what, did you, what did you do? Anything uh, fun and exciting and maybe even Halloween-y because it's almost Halloween? Uh, let's see. halloween things. Not really. I mean, I did more of my Let's Play of, uh, wait, wait, I got this, Among the Sleep. And I almost shot myself. And then I bought another game that looks spooky to do like a Halloween-y Let's Play. And I almost mm. shot myself, but <laughs> shot or shat? <laughs> I said shot because I didn't want to say shat, but then I'm like, no, I meant to say shat. <laughs> but I almost like shot shit myself, you know. Gross. Is that like a shot. really violent shitting? It's like you get so scared that it's like a fucking shotgun just like just scatter blows bullets. out your ass. <laughs> yeah. It's like incendiary rounds. <laughs> Jesus. Why is my chair on fire? <laughs> This is, I'm a dainty awful. lady. This is how dainty ladies talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Jesus. I think my world is falling apart. <laughs> There's like a, a waterfall going on at your house. <laughs> I guess. Wow. Wow. Did you just shatter yourself? <laughs> shatter. Fucking it's shot like a shit. scatter shit. Yeah, it's a shit scatter. Shatter. Nice. I haven't yeah. really done anything Halloween-y, so that's, that's kind of sad. But, uh... Well, see, What's up? You expect me to do stuff, and you hey, haven't even hey, just because I didn't no. do Halloween stuff <laughs> doesn't mean <laughs> doesn't mean that like you can't. I mean, everybody should be doing Halloween stuff, even if I'm not. God, the world well, doesn't revolve around We're gonna steal a pumpkin next me. week. We'll we'll steal a pumpkin next week and make a video out of it. We've been trying to do that for three years. So. You should steal a pumpkin that somebody hasn't carved yet and carve it, and then put it back. Um, no, because everybody on my street has already carved their pumpkins, and they're all ugly. Like, they're just literally, like, triangle eyes and a fucking mouth. Like, they don't even... They're not creative. This is 2018, guys. Like, where are the sexist pumpkins? We, I'm, we I'm don't know these, like, what creativity is anymore. Oh, I thought everybody had a fucking art major now, so... Well, everybody has an opinion, but at the end of the day, they don't do Whoa. shit. Put your opinion and your art major together and make a fucking pumpkin worth looking at, you know? Put your opinion in your ass and shot shit it out. <laughs> Shatter. <laughs> <laughs> patent <laughs> <laughs> trademark yeah yeah copyright so for me uh i've been hard at work finishing off a couple of machinimas and wrapping up the halloween event i've also been packing because i just found out my rent's gonna be nearly doubling and uh, i have about two weeks to find a new place and move what the fuck? <laughs> so that's fun but that's pretty much kind of been my focus for the week <laughs> That sucks. <laughs> yeah, it seems like everybody's moving. I think Cody's moving, you're moving, now I'm fucking moving. I've been trying to move since May, though. <laughs> you're never you're never actually going to move, you're just going to talk about it. Well, I'm going to move. I don't know if I'll move my stuff, because that, that requires energy. <laughs> you just leave all your shit? Yeah, just like, Mom, I'm taking the cat. Actually, no, I'm leaving the cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to take my PS4 and my computer and live off that. Sorry, you can't do the podcast anymore because I didn't take anything with me. Yeah, my sweater's starting to smell because I didn't bring any clothes. <laughs> Haven't changed in a month. Yeah, worth. How about, what are you playing? You playing anything new? Anything uh, well, notable? that new game that I bought that I'm hoping to do a Let's Play with. If Is that a top secret can... thing? Or, or can no, you it's, a, it's it? a cool game. It's called Colot. Colot? 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 Uh, I've made the joke, call out what you want. I, it's a stupid joke, but it's uh, K-H-O-L-A-T. I think it's like a, a town or something in Russia. This sounds it's like a PC game. Uh, did I feel like you talked about be. this before. This sounds familiar all of a sudden. Well, I, I talked to you about it Maybe that's <laughs> the other what it day. is. <laughs> we talked about it's, it off uh, the podcast, I guess. Yeah, it's like based off of um, uh, this like the Dyatlov or Dyatlov Pass. It's like this this horror story that actually happened where these hikers or people... It's like a, one of those Russian towns that's like always snow because like best places always have snow. That's a lie. And 
shut up <laughs> you wouldn't know yeah i wouldn't know anything about <laughs> that <laughs> uh and like they they went camping or they were looking for something and then they just randomly like didn't come back so families and authorities went to look for them and they found like you yeah, canadians like, well, sorry the russian police <laughs> <laughs> what we call them police i was being polite oh. whatever the fucking caps <laughs> went <laughs> to look for them yeah, the Popo. The 5 went to look, and they found uh, the tent was, like, ripped, but everything was still in there, like, clothes, everything. And there was footsteps that had no shoes, like, just barefoot footsteps. And they followed them, and they, like, found body after body. And um, some of them were, like, some of them, like, the heads were bashed in, or, like, like it looked like something had crushed them from the inside, or, like, one of them, the tongue was missing, and, like, like an animal attack, but no animal they knew, so they're like, whoa. It's like, was Keanu Reeves there? <laughs> yeah, he was like, wow. wow. Uh, Owen Wilson was there too. Wow. And yeah, everybody was there. That, and it was they like, need to make a movie with Keanu Reeves and Owen Wilson. That would be amazing. <laughs> it has to be called like, wow. wow. <laughs> just, whoa, wow. Like the whole uh, script Disney. is just, whoa, wow. Wow, whoa, by, whoa. By wow. Disney, yeah. Why Disney? But yeah, this, the story, like if you go YouTube or uh, Google the story and you can read like, all kinds of different versions of it, I guess, because people fan fiction of real life, you know. Uh, and this game is like, I think you play as I haven't played it much, but you play as somebody who's going to check out like what happened. I got to the tent and then somebody called me and it ruined everything. So I was like, <laughs> hey, fuck you. I'm out. Wow. OK, the, the ghosts are walking. I know there's I'm having technical difficulties. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Some would call them neighbors. Uh. I would call them targets. <laughs> well, that too. That's cool. It mm -hmm. sounds kind of like a uh, kind of like the hills have eyes kind of a thing. It but would probably be more fun in VR, but that costs money, and I can't even afford a pizza. Wouldn't everything be more fun in VR? Unless yeah, you're one of those I'd... people that gets sick like really easily, I guess. Oh, I probably would. <laughs> but somebody won't send me his VR in the mail, so I can't try it. So whatever. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> I won't name anyone. <laughs> Yeah, no names. <laughs> well, nothing nothing good seems to come to PSVR anyways. Like, it's all on Oculus so Rift or fucking HTC Vive. It's all on PC. So why won't you send me your VR then? Because I bought that shit for Resident this, Evil 7. This thing's a piece of crap, but you can't have it. <laughs> no, I like it. It's just there's not a lot for it. I'll trade you for my uh, N64 cartridge of Resident Evil 2. Once, uh, what is it, Beat Saber comes out, I'll be happy again. Beat Saber? Yeah, it's like you're basically a Jedi, but it's a, like a music rhythm game. <laughs> like you have two lightsabers and like waves of like, I don't even know what you would call them. I guess blocks come at you to the rhythm of the music and you have to like slice them with your lightsabers as they come to the beat. It's I feel like I've amazing. seen play something like that. Yeah, there's like Let's Plays and stuff. I think it's in the arcade or something. <laughs> Blocky. Minecraft, Star Wars, Fruit Ninja. Hell yeah. Sounds fucking amazing. I Super can't wait. Minecraft, Star Wars. But like they Fruit announced Ninja. it like, I don't even know, like three or four months ago and there's still no release date. Damn. Like, don't tell me about it until you can at least give <laughs> me a fucking be like, time frame. It's going to be like Last of Us 2. I bought my PS4 like two, almost three years ago because I got it Boxing Day. And I got it specifically because they announced last of us 2 and i was like i need a next gen console because it's gonna be like rise of the tomb raider or i won't get to play it and i'll be mad and then <laughs> the fucking like it's still not out and i'm just sitting here with my ps4 that's like full of fucking games no space no that's money good. at least you're playing it so it wasn't a waste well for the longest time it was like it was a 350 dollar uh netflix box <laughs> <laughs> Until I discovered Destiny on there. At the end Destiny of the day, there, that's so. what it is for everybody, I think. Yeah, it's still that. I mean, like, I spent half my awake time watching Netflix and the rest just shoosting or sh or shattering myself. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, again, the whole moving thing, I haven't really had much time to play a whole lot. Um, I need to get on Street Fighter and do my weekly shit, which I haven't done yet. I've been playing some Friday the 13th. Just yeah. hit level 24 on that. Jason. Uh, Jason. I'm really enjoying that. I'm a huge Friday the 13th fan, <laughs> so I think they did a really fantastic job with that. Definitely stays true to the movies, and, like, they put lots of kills that are straight out of the movies and just, like, thematically 
they did a really good job with it. So I'm happy lots with that. Windows. And it's free. Lots of windows lots, to jump through. Lots of windows to jump out through. of and piss off Jason Sean. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like jumping through the windows is like the best part of that game <laughs> for some reason. Well, you got amazing. me to jump. You got me to jump out a second floor window, telling me that there's probably an achievement, it's, and then there wasn't. It should have. Ha- I swear to God, look at the achievements. Maybe you have to do it multiple times, but it's there. It's one of those like it's like real life. You can get an achievement for putting on a sweater that doesn't belong to you, but you can't get an achievement for jumping out of a second floor window and surviving. What? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? I feel like if in real life, if you do this, somebody would be like, wow, good job. Like, you survived a two-story fall. But, like, no, they're like, good job. You got dressed. <laughs> good job. You got dressed. <laughs> oh, you, you jumped not, out. Not only did you get dressed, but you fucking committed a crime because you stole it. From a dead person. Gross. Yeah. You got to get sweaters. I'm, I'm not moving with That'd my clothes, great. so I'll like, take what you, I can get. If you, like, dug up a grave and you, like, did the grave robber thing, but you only took the clothes and you left like all the jewelry and stuff like old like <laughs> homeless person sweaters <laughs> fucking smells like garbage like these fucking assholes buried in like super expensive suits <laughs> i just wanted a sweater i just needed Cold a suit out. for a wedding i'm going to i didn't know what to do i hear <laughs> i hear that they bury people in suits so i mean it seemed like common sense yeah or do they bury suits in people Ooh. one day they're gonna bury <laughs> barry oh my god Barry will be buried. He'll be a buried Barry. <laughs> it's going to be a monumental occasion. It'll be great. What if like you plant a bush over his grave and then it's a berry bush? <laughs> a berry bush on top of a buried berry. <laughs> so it's a buried berry berry bush. <laughs> oh my in god. A bay. That needs to become a <laughs> thing. A so it's a buried bush on top of a buried berry in a bay. <laughs> oh, there's too many berries. So much berries. And you put a straw next to the bush, so it's a strawberry bush. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, okay, I could go on, so let's just stop. <laughs> it never ends. <laughs> Spray painted blue. <laughs> Blueberry. <laughs> Blueberry berry. Okay, okay. <laughs> Other Blueberry than should that, be like the Jill and Berry like, combination name. Just Blueberry. <laughs> Blueberry. Uh, other than that, I've been doing the shoes thing or doing Call of Duty shoes. World War II for the uninitiated. <laughs> for the <laughs> working my uneducated way, <laughs> yeah working my way towards uh, another prestige and trying to get all that halloween content before the end of the event i think we got like another week and a half or something and it i still it seems like everyone that fucking plays that has unlocked that grim reaper outfit <laughs> i'm the only one that doesn't fucking have it <laughs> like october 1st i'm like oh hey i got a halloween thing oh cool it's like a hoodie <laughs> <laughs> a fucking hoodie <laughs> i got a sweater <laughs> But yeah, I probably won't even I, like. I'm not even, if I unlock it. I'm not even gonna wear it because that's what everybody's wearing. I just want the shit. Like I just want to have yeah. it, and I can't get it <laughs> for no reason. Yeah, just because I need it in my life. Uh, like that Russian Resident Evil Two. Yeah, I need all the Resident Evil Twos in my life. Leon S. Kennedy. Um, I still have an open Black Ops 4, and I probably won't touch that until after I move and get settled in and unpacked and all that shit. So I probably won't even touch it until, like, December. But that showed up, and I have it, and uh, one day I'll know how it is. (laughs) One day. Yeah. After all that, you can't even play it. Yeah. Oh, well. At least I got the collector's edition, and I don't have to worry about missing out on it. Because I missed the, uh, I think it was Black Ops 3 had, like, a... That was also a zombies themed collector's edition and had like a like a mini fridge like shaped like I think the juggernaut machine but it was at like a fully functional mini refrigerator it was so cool I didn't even know it existed until like it had sold out everywhere so when I found out about it I was really upset <laughs> so at least this one zombie knew. themed as well and I got that so you're like I never knew I wanted this until there's none left exactly it's bullshit now I want it. Well, in the past, like, they didn't really do, like, zombie-themed stuff. I mean, they, they were kind of headed that way. I think Black Ops 2, like, had a steel book that had zombies on it. But, like, that was it. Any other, like, big collector's edition had some stupid, like, remote control car or fucking night vision goggles or some bullshit. What the fuck? Like, I'm good. <laughs> I almost bought you a, a zombie-themed thing from EB Games for, like, Call of Duty World War Two. Why didn't you? I was you? at the store... Because I bought my Tomb Raider coasters instead. I'm sorry I have oh, I priorities see. in life. You're selfish. <laughs> yeah. I see. Yeah. Oh, when, okay. it, when it comes to Tomb Raider, like, it's a tunnel vision. Everything else is just, like, get fucked. That's fair. 
Unless it was Resident Evil, then you then I would. No, you. you know what? I love Resident Evil, but if there's a Tomb Raider thing next to it, you are not allowed to say things on this podcast like I are... like Resident Evil, but <laughs> Resident Evil, but <laughs> no, I, I'm pretty sure Lara Croft will trump anything that has uh, anything <laughs> except <laughs> Resident Evil. No, nope. no, you have to agree. It depends. It depends what it is. I mean, if there's like. I had a massive struggle. My roommate was. I thought you were going to say I had a massive stroke. <laughs> <laughs> like, My almost. Um, they have like wall to wall fucking pop figures, and there's like the little Lara, and there's the little Jill, and I'm like, oh my god. Little old Jill. Like I've never read Sophie's Choice, but I'm pretty sure I went through what that person went through, <laughs> just like <laughs> looking at them, and I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> I got both. That's all you can do. So yeah. you made the right choice. It's fine. Same thing with Buffy and, and Faith. I was like, oh, I, I love Buffy, but like Faith. Ah, <laughs> so I got both. <laughs> like you can't have one without the other. I got to counteract them. It's, it's all about balance. I have no idea and where my pop figures everything. are. <laughs> yeah. The only two that I have for pop figures are Leon, of course, the Resident Evil 4 version, and Jill. Did, uh, did they come out with that Leon when... They came out with like same time as Jill, like when they did um, the remake HD or something. I something. No, out. they've been around for a while. I think they had like one big batch that they came up with like a uh, couple years ago, maybe two years ago, something like that. But they did like um, the Tyrant. <laughs> I think they did. Yeah, they did Nemesis. Jill. I think there's two versions of Jill. I think there's like RE three Jill and then RE one Jill. I've got Leon Rachel. from Four, Chris. And I they had, think they did Chris. They had RPD Leon because I remember seeing that. Really, I've never seen that one. Yeah, they had him and Jill, and the guy said that they were new because of the recent release of one of the games. Hmm. I think I'll it was for the Origins. Out. Like the Origins came out, or like something came out. I don't know. And I was like, well, that's stupid because those two games aren't together in the Origins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And. Uh, I was so confused, but I was like, whatever, it's Jill. Leon can get fucked. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty positive there's no Claire, so that RPD Leon must have been, like, based on the Resident Evil 4 version of RPD Leon. Yeah, Leon. probably. I did see a Claire, but I think somebody made that themselves, because it was, like, the new RE2 one. Oh, I want that. Oh, I think it was just, like, a, a personal... I'll have to keep an eye out. Maybe they'll release them. Who knows? Are those still, like, a popular thing? Like, do a they popular? still make... Do they still make like tons of those i think so um some of them i find they're so stupid to make like i'm sorry but if you're gonna make like like i get making the main npcs of like fallout or games like that but they've got like i don't know like you know like games like halo the online like reach or uh mass effect where you make your own commander shepherd and it's not necessarily a male yeah like and they've got pop Did figures you know for that, that and Femme like, Shepherd nah. was actually the original design. So like Femme Shepherd is like the the actual it, shepherd, like the real shepherd. I think somebody told me that, but I <laughs> haven't played the game, so I don't know. Oh my god, what is wrong I, with you? I tried to play the first one first after all the other Ooh, ones were that's out. Rough. And like I literally like, what is this garbage? <laughs> I was like, Am I outside? Am I on a planet? <laughs> what is happening? But I mean, in my if head, you it haven't like... actually played two or three, going back to one shouldn't be that bad. Because I mean, it was a really good game. Yeah, but I mean, I play other time. games. <laughs> well, wow. So you're saying play... Mass Effect One is shit compared to just other games? Well, like I'm, I'm playing, I'm here like playing Resident Evil Six or like something that has better graphics, and then I'm going back to these games, and I'm like, that's not so bad. Oh, yeah, gra- I mean, if you know the series, yeah. like if I go back to Resident Evil One and I'm like, it looks like jill or chris's pants when they're standing there and they're like breathing their freaking pixels on their pants keep expanding <laughs> <laughs> and we, we wanted to make a joke about that because it looks like they're like breathing with their ass maybe they are and it's like that's funny but i know the series but to start at the start like that like people who play resident evil one now are probably like what the fuck is this yeah i mean you can't look at like resident evil 2 remake and then be like, oh, well, should I start from the first game and then go back to one and then expect to be blown away? <laughs> That's not going to happen. It's fun to play through the whole series, though. 
I, no, I did it that. Is. But like, if, if you're recently. experiencing the the series for the first time, and like you see the modern games and they look really good, and then you go back to like yeah. start the franchise at the original like PS one game, that might kind of <laughs> ruin your expectations. Or yeah, yeah, might not Life. be recommended. <laughs> but funny. But you could always start at remake. So and then from there you can go to RE two remake. So that's good. It's good. It's getting better. Yeah. All right, so let's jump into some news. So there's been an update on the PSN name change stuff that's going on. As we talked about a few episodes ago, Sony has announced a beta that will allow you to change your PSN ID, a feature many of us have been waiting for for like years because we're dumb and we make terrible gamer tags and we we regret it for the rest of our lives. Weskashaus. Mine is fine, fuck you. Yeah, yours is awesome. It's good. (laughs) Um, unfortunately, the ability to change your PSN name will have the potential to cause harm to your account in an unknown capacity. It sounded like the, the risk wasn't going to be worth the, re- worth the reward. I can't talk today. <laughs> um, but uh, the invites to the name change beta program have been announced or they've been sent out alongside the invitation comes a pretty concerning warning message that pretty much confirms that this may not be what we were hoping to get. The message starts by warning the players, quote, Not all games and applications for the PS4, PS3, PS Vita, and other PlayStation systems support the online ID change feature, which is fucking stupid. Why change your name if you can't even use it across all of Sony's platforms, but whatever. (laughs) The warning goes on to detail the following possible consequences to using the feature. You may lose access to content, including paid for content, that you have acquired for your games, including content like add-ons and virtual currency. You may lose your progress within games, including game save data, leaderboard data, and progress towards trophies. Parts of your games and applications may not function properly, both online and offline. And your previous online IDs may remain visible to you and other players in some places. So it doesn't even fucking work correctly, and it could pretty much damage all aspects of your games and, and cause you to lose shit that you paid for. To me, these potential risks are completely unacceptable and not at all worth the risk. Sony should have refrained from even announcing this feature at all until it was deemed like realistic to implement it safely. It's just a clusterfuck. And I mean, if you're considering doing this, I highly recommend that you wait and just see if Sony can figure things out and make it actually function properly without damaging your profile. And all, especially if you're into achievements and stuff like that, I mean, you can lose trophy progress and, and game progress. It's just, why would you even risk that? Even if you have a terrible name, is it really worth putting all that on the line for? Yeah, you should have thought of that before getting a stupid name. Well, I mean, I understand. Like, sure, you get your, your account when you're a fucking stupid kid. and Or, like, when you're into a particular thing and maybe you grow out of that or something. And, you you know, you make your name based on some show or game or whatever that you hate now but like that's true tough shit (laughs) just make a new account and start playing with it and then if sony announces that they fucking fixed it then you can change it true but i mean people that have been playing for for years and years like that's a lot of progress to wow (laughs) (laughs) your sympathy is overwhelming with your fucking you live with your mistakes yeah, I guess the PSN so. is your child. You had it. Now you're stuck with it. Yeah, pretty much. It just sucks because like Sony gave us all hope by saying, hey, yeah. you know, now you can change your name. And then it turns out, well, you can, but. <laughs> but you'll get fucked. <laughs> you're probably going to get fucked. Yeah. That's that's pretty shitty. And then we won't like help you. <laughs> and plus, <clears throat> they've been saying like they've been working on this for like years. And then. It's still not done, obviously. So why why say something now? Why even announce that it's going to be a thing until it's more ironed out? This seems like a weird stupid. time to to announce that they're doing this. They should have kind of done the same thing, but done it like low key and just like hired people to come in and test it while they worked out all the kinks. And then once they worked everything out, then fucking announce it. Like don't open I this think- shit up to the public and start ruining people's accounts. It'll probably be, like, the fucking Tylenol effect. Like, uh, if you take two Tylenols, you're going to get, like, you could have a stroke and you could die and you could, like, 
all these fucking symptoms could happen, but then, like, nobody ever takes Tylenol and fucking dies. So, like, it could just be like that. Like, they're covering their ass in case, like, it's it's happened, like, one out of a hundred testers, their shit got fucked. And, like, you know, the, eventually, maybe they'll just be like, oh, yeah, it works, but just so you know, like, if this happens, we fucking told you, and now nobody wants to try it, so they're not gonna make money. I mean, typically when they when they do stuff like this, they're they only and they only say like all these negative things are could happen if it's likely. Like if it only happens in in one out of twenty or whatever, and it's uncommon, they would rather have that slide under the radar and deal with you know the ones and twos that pop up here and there. But since uh, they're throwing all this out there to the public, this is likely to happen. This is probably going to be a thing. It's like one out of 20 pilots has been drinking. We won't tell you which one. <laughs> <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Enjoy your flight and have a good day. Yeah, so that whole thing's just, yeah, it's bad. It's That's stupid. Hopefully they fix what, it or yeah. like just cancel it entirely. I hope they don't cancel it. I hope they just well until they can prolong like, it. Maybe. Well, don't just like keep doing updates. Like just fucking scrap it, start over, make it good, and then release it. Yeah, they should pull it from the public and and do what I said. Just hire people internally to just keep working at it until they know that they yeah. can get it right. But we'll see. I'm sure people are gonna start using this and get pissed off, and yeah, we'll, we'll probably be talking about this in the next in the next couple of weeks. So, but hopefully True. it gets better. <laughs> Uh, so next, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is now available, but at what cost? <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> something that I have something about that that I read up on today. <laughs> I'll let you get into that in a second, but let's go over this real quick. So Red yeah, Dead yeah. Redemption 2 is between a 93 to a 107 gigabyte install. Some oh. reports list it as being even larger than that with patches. So this is the first current gen game to be released on two Blu-ray discs. The physical version has an average install time of an hour and a half. Plus, oh God, that means like five hours day, on my PS. Yeah, plus the day one patch. While the digital download seems to be ranging anywhere from two to fifteen hours to install. Get fucked. Plus the day one patch. There's a lot of fluctuation here depending on platform, digital versus disc, and internet speed. But it sounds like the best case scenario is 93 gigabytes and an hour and a half install. This is way too much. Our current technology clearly just isn't ready for this. We should be able to buy a game, put it in the system, and play it like we've been able to do for decades. We shouldn't have to worry about what the file size is and how long do we have to wait to play it. I mean, <laughs> that's ridiculous. We gotta go <laughs> out, pay full price for a game, and fucking wait up to a day or half a day to play it and we've got to have all this hard drive space <laughs> and that's something like we have to factor into consideration now is oh well how how big is this install file like when you're buying a game that shouldn't be something you need to look at that's fucked up because i mean think about that if every game's 100 gigabytes going forward even if you have a terabyte hard drive guess what you get nine games to play so a hundred dollars well yeah typically about a hundred dollars to get that to be able to play nine games that you also have to buy that's fucked nope. up i'm pretty sure at this point red dead redemption should just be a console on its own <laughs> yeah just <laughs> like, release it as its own standalone it. i mean like system. in canada we're already paying like 90 dollars for a new game it's and more close. if you want to get like any of the fucking dlcs because they don't put any of it as regular shit anymore so like you might as well just buy a fucking another ps4 just yep. Well, I mean, we're getting close there anyways. If you factor in DLC, it's like 60 bucks for the game or 65 bucks with tax here. And then typically you're looking at 30 to $50 for the season pass. And that's if there's only one, which there's typically two or three now, plus all the other additional shit that they tack on. Like you're typically paying 130 to $150 for a game. Yes. Like you buy a handful of games and guess what? You just paid for your system again. <laughs> That's it's garbage. getting ridiculous. And now you have to factor in, oh, I need a big ass hard drive to install this shit. <laughs> now I need another TV. Yeah. And a 4K like my TV. controller. Because I don't want to sync the controller to whichever PS4 I'm fucking using at the time. I need another controller. Did you know that there's updates for controllers? I don't know if that's the case uh... on PS4, but on Xbox... 
I've gotten what messages where I couldn't play a game because it had to <laughs> update my fucking controller first. <laughs> That's <laughs> so stupid. Ridiculous. It's like, oh, are you uh, lost in the woods? Well, you have to update your fucking flashlight because otherwise you're not going to be able <laughs> yeah. to see anything. Sorry, your analog stick isn't up to date. Uh, <laughs> you know your shoes are out of date? <laughs> you need to update your shoelaces. You can't walk. You're like stuck in place. <laughs> yeah. Fucking uh. ridiculous. I'm getting really tired of like just all these completely unacceptable practices that we have to deal with as gaming consumers these days. We're getting broken game releases, day one patches, microtransactions and excessive padding, loot boxes, mandatory game installs, digital only, just all kinds of bullshit. Like, why is it so complicated? There's some games that require you to pay for and download the real ending. Like Prince of Persia and Asura's Wrath on 360. You have to buy the canon ending. It's not in the game. And then you have <laughs> games like Scott Pilgrim... Marvel vs. Capcom Origin, Silent Hill Downpour, and like tons of other games. And they just quietly get removed from digital stores. Is, uh, <laughs> is, is today Monday? Is that how we're doing this? Yes. Okay, 30 years ago today, the Genesis came out. And Call of Duty, like the first Call of Duty on PC, 15 years ago today. Just, I just wanted to point that out for no reason. <laughs> Happy anniversary. I was like, you. the Genesis <laughs> is as old as I am. <laughs> Wow. Actually, I'm older because fuck you, Genesis. Hey, <laughs> the Genesis is beautiful. That's how little baby Jazz started scanning. <laughs> That's crazy. And guess what? You didn't have to install shit on those games. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing to install. Yeah, I know. The games were like 100 megabytes or some shit. I don't even think they were that big. The worst you had to do is like start spinning the disc for it because it was stupid. To it was spin a Genesis. It. There's no discs. Oh, I was thinking of like the GameCube. You fail. Sorry, when the Genesis <laughs> came out, I was a baby. <laughs> It's, that was irrelevant. Getting... I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> no, that's, that's fine. It's that's good to know that. But I mean, in the middle of Red Dead Redemption, you could have waited. <laughs> but now it's fine. It's it's crazy. I wanted right? to see when Red Dead Redemption. Uh, I wanted to see when the first one came out, and then that popped up. My bad. No, you're fine. We got to celebrate the important moments in video game history. Red Dead Redemption Two on the Genesis. <laughs> it takes a month to install. <laughs> Not even. It just like the console blows up. It's you try <laughs> but yeah it's just it's fucking really irritating me this whole thing is just really bothering me you can't even buy a game go home and play it anymore and no. what's really weird to me is like how accepting of this we are like we're living in a time where we're so outspoken sometimes to a fault and we don't understand why we're just like i don't understand why we're just laying back and letting the game industry fuck us in the ass without a fight like without oh. a word any without a word even like we're just rolling over and letting them do whatever the fuck they want with with video games and nobody's bringing up that this is a problem and everybody just supports it and goes like goes with whatever they decide and it's getting worse and worse and it just makes me sad because now here we are red dead redemption 2 fucking way too big of a game takes way too yeah. long to install and we're just like, eh, it takes two days to install it, but oh well. <laughs> like, why, why is that not a problem? in the game, but... <laughs> yeah, it's so stupid. Dumb. I mean, we've proven that if we speak up enough as a community, we can get shit like this turned around, but nobody <laughs> seems to care. Like the jiggle effect? Like the jiggle effect <laughs> in Fortnite. But nobody, I don't know, I guess I'm the only one that seems to be bothered by this stuff, and it sucks. Oh, no. You should have heard me. Like, the first game I got on my PS4 when I got it was the uh, Destiny, because I needed something to play until The <laughs> Last of Us 2 came out. And, uh, fuck, I didn't, like, I seriously plugged in the PS2, or PS4, let the whole thing update, because it was new, installed everything I needed, and then put in the disc, which I was like, it's a disc, like, it'll fucking start up right away. <laughs> and it starts installing. I'm like, what the fuck are you installing? It's a disc. I, it's a, I don't have to fucking shoot the movie scene per scene when I have a DVD. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Maybe that's and, coming. <laughs> yeah, it it took over 20 hours for me to get to play oh my God. this goddamn Destiny that I'd already played on the PS3. And I was oh getting shit. so mad. I was like, why did I fucking buy this? <laughs> it finally installs. And like, I try to install another game that came with the PS4. I didn't get to play yet. And it's like, 
no space. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, Jesus. So I can only play one game, and it's not even the game that came with the console. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Yeah, it's. I think the PS3 kind of started it because like there was select games on PS3 where you you had to install it. I know Metal Gear Solid 4 was one of them, and I think like the first couple of Yakuza games and some others like you would put the disc in and you would just have to let it fucking install for like 30 minutes to an hour before you could even play it. And which now it's just getting worse and worse. And it gives you the impression that then you can just play it without disc because it installed the entire fucking game oh, yeah, on the it's console. super misleading. And then it's like, Lup, no, you need the disc. And you're yeah, like, hey, well, you need to get fucked because I'm out of here. I'm going on my, 60, on my 64 and I'm, fuck you. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, why why did we let that fly? When, when we're people were getting home lazy. and putting a disc into their system and it said, oh, this has to fucking install first? Troll like, along. You and you can't, you can't run anything else. Out. Oh, you can't watch Netflix while it's installing. No, you, yeah, can't, you can't have it as shit. a background. Just sit no, and no, no. Fucking wait. <laughs> yeah, you have to sit there, eat your popcorn, and shut the fuck up, <laughs> I mean, and watch this little loading bar not move. <laughs> you might as well just get a fucking PC at this point because it's the same damn thing. Yeah, but the PC installs faster. Yeah, and you can do other shit while it's installing. <laughs> yeah, and then you don't need the goddamn disc. Yeah, it's sad. I just, <sighs> I hope eventually things blow blow up out of proportion to the point where people are actually taking notice and, and saying something because otherwise it's just going to keep getting worse until it just fucking crashes and burns and that would be really sad yeah but that's a subject i could talk about forever because i fucking hate it and it makes me want to cry and fucking go into a murderous rage simultaneously but so let's go into the next thing <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this one's kind of a short thing so near i think it's automata i don't know how to say it but yeah. uh it's the sequel to the first near that came out on uh xbox 360 and ps3 really good game but um the character 2b from that game has been announced for soul caliber 6 she comes with a costume a weapon and a stage have you played near automata uh no no it's so good I haven't even played Nier. You're like, I haven't even heard of this game. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, you know what? Like at first I was like Nier, like like close, and I'm like, no, it's N I E R. Yeah. I know this. Yeah. I browse. I don't buy, but I browse. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. At least you you do some research. I don't have the but time yeah, you... to install it. <laughs> Yeah, you play as 2B. She's like an android that's sent out by the human resistance to destroy the robotic armies and who have like taken over the world and it's like a post-apocalyptic kind of a thing but it has like a really deep um battle system with like rpg elements and it has 26 or something endings (laughs) jesus yeah it's crazy it's really good though but it's got a really deep story like with lots of plot twists and stuff it's it's awesome i love it it almost won a bunch of awards but I i don't think it actually won anything but i think it was up for like game of the year maybe best story i can't remember but it's so good, and they're putting 2B, which is the main character in Soul Calibur 6, and I can't wait. Or not 2B, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and got another short thing. Days Gone has been delayed two months. Sony Interactive Entertainment of American Marketing, Vice President Assad Quizzlebash, question mark, <laughs> stated via the PlayStation blog, quote, We've decided to move the release of Days Gone from the crowded February time frame. This is the second time the title's been delayed. It was originally due to release this year, but was then pushed back to 2019. And now it got pushed back again from February to April 2019. Do you care about this at all? Do you even know what Days Gone is? (laughs) Is it a zombie game? It is a zombie game. Okay, I was just guessing. I actually don't know. (laughs) It just sounded like a zombie game. Yeah, it's a PS4 exclusive kind of like open world zombie game. It looks really cool, but... I mean, if it keeps getting pushed back like this and potentially yeah, comes out buggy, because if they keep pushing it back, that's that could be bad news. But, um, I mean, like, already, if it were to come out tomorrow, I think it would do mediocre, because, like, nobody seems to care about zombies anymore, and then there's just all these other games, like Last of Us 2 is coming out, and all the shit with The Walking Dead, like, it's kind of burying this game before it even comes out so the more that they push it back i think the less of an impact it's even going to make so they need to release this shit before it's too late 
but they yeah, probably won't. It's, <laughs> it's going to get buried in the berry berry bush. Yep. But at least it'll become, you know, a value game. You can buy it for 20 bucks like six months later. <laughs> so there's that. And, and then play it seven months later. Or three years later. Who knows? If it comes out. Yeah, maybe they'll just By then it. you'll like you, you can get the game and change your PSN name at the same time. <laughs> and both of those things will break your system. Yeah, and you'll just want to shit all over. <laughs> so now we'll jump into some survival horror stuff. Because that's what we do, and it's Halloween and stuff. Well, it's almost Halloween. And stuff. And stuff. And we do sur survival horror and stuff, and I cannot fucking talk today, so... Survival. Survival horror. Survival and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> horror. Horror. Survival horror. horror. But uh, Resident Evil... Resident Evil 0 and Resident Evil 4 are coming to the Switch sometime in 2019. Capcom did not state if these would be more than... Mo uh, more. Ah, why can't I not <laughs> talk today? Capcom did not state if these would be the more modern remastered versions or if there are plans for a physical version of any kind. So they could be the original titles just being released on the Switch's digital, digital store. Or it could be the like the Origins collection, like the remake remaster and the same thing with uh zero hopefully it's those versions who knows i don't even know if the the switch can handle like the hd version of resident evil 4 i, I don't think it actually does full hd at least in uh, handheld handheld mode i know it, it does better. if you connect <laughs> it to the dock but i know it's still less powerful than like the xbox one and the ps4 well that's unfortunate <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's fine, though, because, like, the whole point of that system is that it's portable. So it's cool. Like, this will be the first time that you have, if it is the, the actual remake, remaster, and zero remaster, this will be the first time you can play either of those on a handheld. Same thing with Resident Evil 4. So that'll be kind of cool. Oh, yeah. I was, like, I was thinking, like, you, that you said it'll be the first time you can play Resident Evil on a handheld. Like No, these that's... particular titles. <laughs> that's how I played Revelations the first time. No, yeah, Revelations, Revelations 2. Mercenaries. Uh, Mercenaries. Sorry, Revelations. Revelations. <laughs> Revelations. <laughs> um, what else? There's Oh, and of course, there's the amazing five-star game, Resident Evil Gaiden. Must nope. play. That's a, nope. that's a handheld game. <laughs> nope. But it's no, a handheld and then like technically you could get the like the original PS1 versions of Resident Evil 1, 2 and 3, you could play those on PSP through if you downloaded it on the PlayStation network. Like technically, it was a PS3 game, but you could move it over to your PSP and play it as a portable version. So, <laughs> you could play those portal like sounds in a portable like a lot form. No, nah, it wasn't too bad. It but it'll be cool like to see average. Remake 0 and 4 in portable fashion form thing. That's true. Thingamajiggy. But yeah. And then Layers of Fear 2 has been announced. Layers of Fear. Yeah. So this Is that game... a free game? No, it's not a free game. It's it. Is, I think it was on PC first, but it got ported to like everything. But uh, this game was revealed via a short trailer that showed off a creepy atmosphere. A ship that resembles the Titanic. Eh, eh, yes, there you go. Eh. This is for you. <laughs> resembles is not the same, though. I don't know. It could be the Titanic. They haven't said. Well, the Titanic's in the bottom of the Atlantic, so I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe that's where it takes place. Maybe it's Realism. underwater. You don't know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, it didn't look underwater, but still. One of the layers is water. <laughs> See? Water paints. <laughs> Because it has to do with art, I think. I haven't played it. The fuck? <laughs> the first one's like about paintings and I don't fucking know. I never played it. I've just seen bits and pieces <laughs> of it. But it looks cool. I never, Like I said, I never tried the first one. But um, it released digital only. So that kind of alienated me from it initially. And then by the time the physical versions came out, I kind of lost my interest to get it. But, um, and it, it kind of seems like it's a first person game, so it kind of seems like it's built around VR, but it wasn't VR at first. Like, eventually they made like a PSVR, or not a PSVR, but like a VR mode of it. And it looks like the kind yeah. that would have that, yeah. But they never brought that to PSVR, so that's another thing. Like, you can get that game on PlayStation 4, but it's, it's not compatible with PSVR. If it had been, I might have bought it. <laughs> 
<laughs> but there's just so many reasons that I just, I don't know, it, I ended up passing on it. But the second one looks really cool. It looks like the story might be kind of its own thing. So I don't think you need to play the first one to get into it. So I might check it out. But you should look yeah. up the trailer. It looks cool. I just put it on my wish list because I, I went to look and I actually have looked at the trailer and wanted to buy this, but it's $20. So I was like, yeah. Oh, the first one? Yeah. Like, I'd want to play the first one first. Yeah, me too, of course. I'm considering that right now they have, like, a collector's edition of it. I think it's got, like, the first game and, like, all the DLC, and it's got, like, a collector's box for the Switch. So, I don't know, maybe I'll pick that up. That'd be pretty cool. The Switch. The Switch. Give me a reason to play it. I could play it, like, on my breaks at work or something. You could play... It wouldn't be very uh, scary, though. (laughs) <laughs> you can play Ark kind of Survival Evolved. <laughs> Get that on the Switch. Fuck that game. That's on the Switch. Hey, it's uh, coming to the Switch. Oh shit! When's that happen? Uh, November thirtieth. That's why I was thinking when you said like, <laughs> hopefully it can run those games because Ark is not a small game. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine. My computer that can't well even on, fucking on run it. Like, my computer can't even run it, and it's only like at half capacity of how many files it can hold that game's gonna look like ass on the switch yeah it'll be like on the potato setting <laughs> what game it, had that it has Something to be potato. potato setting i can't remember what the game was but it had like it that. was actually called potato setting oh it, yeah i think it's the ruby game from rooster teeth i think like the lowest setting is called potato setting <laughs> i think diz had to play it on potato setting before and when she said that and i was like what the fuck she's like no seriously why is it called That's... potato setting because rooster teeth. That I don't understand. It's that. the lowest setting, so it probably like the graphics are really shitty, and it's like playing on a potato. I don't know. Because <laughs> potatoes, is, potato is like the new term for retarded. Don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> because you can get away with saying it on the internet and not getting. Twenty eighteen. You call someone a potato, and if they're actually potatoed, then they won't fucking get offended. Hey, I identify as a potato. Okay, so I find that. Like, I identify super as offensive. a banana. So whatever. <laughs> We're all just vegetables and fruits. Just because you identify as a banana doesn't mean you can't recognize yeah. me as a potato. I, I'm like a sixteenth of potato, so I'm allowed to say <laughs> I'm a quarter banana. <laughs> you can't say the p word. That's our word. <laughs> oh God. Jesus Christ! What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on right now? This is what happens when Shayla's not here <laughs> to cut us off. We just talk about potatoes. <laughs> And then I got one more survival horror e thing. There's a new retro-style indie survival horror game called Back in 1995. The hell? Yeah, it looks very much like a like a brighter, more illuminated Silent Hill in style and graphics. It's designed to look and function kind of like a PS1 game, which is kind of where survival horror was birthed. <laughs> it's where it kind of became a thing. And uh, that particular aesthetic and gameplay style is, is, like, really beloved by, like, the survival horror community. So, like, this kind of takes that style and runs with it. Uh, the game says, quote, You must uncover the mystery surrounding the disappearance of your daughter, which also sounds like sounds like Silent Hill a little bit. Uh, the catastrophe... The cat- why can't I talk today? Jesus Christ. <laughs> the catastrophe that shook the city and why you've decided to finally return is the, the plot. Uh, not really a lot to go off of, but it does look pretty interesting. Um, the game also features like tank controls, fixed cameras. So if you're looking for like a, a new old school survival horror experience, it's definitely something to, to check out. It's already out on PC and they're going to be bringing it to Xbox One and PS4 down the road. So when they do that, I'll probably look into this. Have you played many nice. like PS1 kind of style horror games? Or, is uh, that, or did you miss out on all that? Well... <sighs> It's complicated. See, <laughs> that's a yes. <laughs> I, you missed when I was that. younger and I played Resident <laughs> Evil Two, I got scared when the liquor crawls across the window at the RPD. So and you anything were just like, that's I'm like, done. Yeah, I was like, I just like shut off the game. I was like, no. And now, like, I laugh at that. I'm like, oh look, he's. Hmm. But as a uh, as a kid, I got scared of like absolutely everything. So there's no way if I had played those games. Like I used to play like Bomberman and Donkey Kong. And that was enough for me. <laughs> Those were scary. Um, <laughs> Those were scary enough for me. Yeah, but Silent Hill, like like I've told you, I think, before, I can't see anything because it's too much gray. Yeah, so that sucks. It's just like, 
if, if this is basically that, except it's more clear <laughs> and you can actually see things. So you're running around and you're True. hearing these weird things like burp at you and you're hearing your radio fuck up and some cops like, here's a gun, but don't shoot me. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, are you, is somebody here? <laughs> is someone in the room? <laughs> Where? Yeah, that sucks that you missed out on Silent Hill. Silent Hill was like super fucking horrifying at the time. I mean, Have at the time me, I was but... super young, but like there wasn't a whole lot. I mean, it was pretty much just like Resident Evil and Silent Hill were like the only kind of games like that. So it was like a brand new kind of thing. And then Silent Hill had like the whole darkness and fog and stuff like that. So like you could barely see like three or four feet in front of you. So like it was super fucking terrifying because, you know, there's monsters all over the place and you fucking can't see anything. <laughs> like I would literally, just... like when I first played that, I would literally fucking sweat because I was just so fucking tense. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I had never experienced something like that. It was crazy. I used to get scared of, like, Duke Nukem, so. What the fuck? Uh, you know. You're, whatever. like, super overpowered <laughs> fucking hulking dude with, like. I didn't know how to play. Rocket like, launchers like, and shit. Like, what are you afraid like, of? <laughs> the awesome graphics, like, <clears throat> when you finally get out of the DOS games playing real computer games. These graphics are amazing. And, like, mm. you don't. As a kid. Okay. <sighs> I can tell you a little story to explain to you how fucking scared I was as a kid of things that weren't even scary. <laughs> you know how much I love Titanic? Uh-huh. Okay, when, when I was a kid and the movie came out, I didn't know what Titanic was. I didn't know what the ship was. I'd never heard. I was I was super young, and uh, we went to see it. I spent the entire movie with my head hiding behind my mom because I thought that like there was a monster or something. Oh, like sinking the boat? or Yeah, I, I don't know. Like... To this day, I have no idea what the fuck was in my head thinking, like, what did this dumbass kid think was going to happen? Like, these guys showed up, and I was like, is he the bad guy? Like, no, I don't know. I'm watching the movie just like you are. <laughs> Would you stop being scared at this not scary movie, child, yeah. please? This is, like, my favorite movie, and I can't understand why I was so scared of it as a kid. Like, I didn't even know they were on a boat, but I didn't know the boat was called the Titanic. Like... You thought the Titanic was the monster? It was a Titanic monster. I guess so. I I don't know. But that's how scared I was. Like, things that weren't scary scared me. That's super weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> things in Canada can fuck you up, even if they won't. It's all that snow. It freezes no your snow. brain. Yeah, it's probably true. Brain freeze. <laughs> Could be. But yeah, I, I wish they, kind of like they do the um, like the new kind of retro style games that you see like on Steam and like on, Playsta on the PlayStation Marketplace and stuff like that where it's like, it's a new game but they make it super retro. I wish they would do stuff like that more frequently with like survival horror games that were created in like the 90s, like early 2000s, late 90s, like Resident Evil and Silent Hill. Because just that gameplay style and those kind of mechanics are just, they're so good. It's so fun to to experience a new game with that gameplay style and just the original survival horror experience. And you just, you don't really see that very often anymore. And the camera angles. Yeah, the fixed camera angles. That's a feature in Resident Evil 5 I really enjoyed. When yeah, you're playing in the Lost DLC. in Nightmares. Yeah, yeah, that was so cool. I lost somebody my told shit me about I that. that. I know, somebody told me about that and I was like, what are you talking about? yeah I totally can <laughs> just check the door like three times i'm like well that's stupid and then i do and i'm like this is fucking trippy and it's only when the fucking axe dude turns the corner and you're like ah! <laughs> you start shooting at like chris <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> i'm hoping that they they do something similar to that for the resident evil 2 remake they teased that there might be something like that in there but i, don't yeah, know. I really hope that they do that as like a secondary play style that's what made the RPD so awesome is that, like, you walk in and you hear, like, the, the shuffling, like, the ch -ch 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 and the brrr, like, the stupid repetitive shuffling sound, and you hear a shitload of it, and you're like, but there's nothing here. And as soon as you take one step and the camera shifts, there's, like, 20 zombies walking towards you. Exactly. I'm like, that makes the game fun. Yeah, that's... But if you walk in and you see this fucking dude standing there, you're like, well, I'm yeah, just not going to go there. zero tension. Like, the thing that is staring at you could look creepy, and it could be dark, so there's that. But, like, part of what made survival horror great was that that tension. Like, oh, Silent Hill hands. had the, the fog and the darkness, so you couldn't see very far in front of you. So even though it had a dynamic camera, 
it still maintained that that tension through limited visibility and then resident evil had fixed camera angles because yeah. you could hear it and you didn't know where it was you didn't know what it was that was a really important dynamic for the game to have and since that's gone it kind of lost some of its magic so it'd be cool to see I that would, come back i would love to be able to like time travel for one day and go back with the like just like playing resident evil two because i find that that one's probably spookier for the first time ever like not knowing what's happening but then coming back and like having that experience still with you yeah because you, you know like you didn't I'd, get that experience that sucks oh no, no it's not just that but like it's it's such a fun like you know you play a game and you're like oh that was so spooky and then you're like well if i play it again i know what's gonna happen and it's coming Oh, you're and just you know talking about ex re-experiencing it for the first time again. Yeah, like just having that fear come back, like just redoing that all over. Yeah, for sure. That Because, uh, yeah, I mean, you only get that one time. Yeah. And a lot of people, too, like they, they missed it. Because, I mean, it, even if you go back and you were to experience it for the first time today, it wouldn't be like what it was if you experienced it when it first came out, you know, because... We didn't have shit that looked like Resident Evil 2 Remake back then. You know, when I experienced the first Resident Evil game, like, I was losing my mind because the graphics were amazing. And I was like, I was showing my parents. I'm like, oh, my God, look at this. It's like a fucking movie. <laughs> so, like, you were way more into it. And it made such a such a larger impact on you because, like, even though it looks like shit, like, back then it looked amazing. So, and that's gone forever. If you didn't experience it when it came out, you're never going to get that. Yeah. Which sucks. Because there's, be there's cool a lot of fans it. that think Resident Evil, what was it? Resident Evil uh, 5 is the first Resident Evil game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? the guy from Tim Hortons. Yeah. So, like, people like that, you know, they go back and they Need play Resident Evil down. 1. They're not going to get that experience that, that like, Yeah, I they're had. like, this is shitty. What the yeah. fuck? What is that? What's what's that? A, it's a dog. Oh. Yeah, exactly. So that, that really sucks. But I mean, I, I feel like they could still bring that experience back if they just fucking tone up the graphics, you know, turn that dial up to 10, make it look like something like Resident Evil 2 Remake, and then just make it play like it used to. Mine Fix camera to angles, edit. tank controls. There would be people that bitched at the shitty control, but most of the people that like survival horror games in the first place are going to love that shit. Yeah, it's and those are the people scarier. that are gonna buy it. <laughs> so I love Resident Evil Six, but it's not as scary as it's it's an action like, game. Something crawling out of nowhere, making no sound, crawling right through the window, and if you don't notice it, it's like okay. But if you like, you go back and look at it, and you're like, holy fuck! Like that thing was right next to me, and I didn't even notice. I could have died. Yeah, yeah. They they lost. I mean, even four is what really did it. From 4 on, they, they kind of ruined Resident Evil, essentially. Even though 4 is an amazing game, 5 is a good game, 6 is good. But, like, 4 kind of just ruined everything. 4 <laughs> lost me because it wasn't zombies anymore. It was, like, villagers with pitchfork. And I'm like, well... You can't you know, fault them for that, though, because no, everyone oh, no, was it's, bitching. It's... Oh, zombies <laughs> I'm just not a Leon fan. That's why I never... How could you? It. Who the fuck? I played it. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> no one. <laughs> God damn it. But no, like I just it was it was a good game. It's just the fact that it was like you know everything is in front of you and it it just felt more like a walk through like follow the path and shoot whatever comes in front of you. It That's wasn't what every a, game's become. There's not as much backtracking and and the puzzles. There's a lot of puzzles. There's a fucking color puzzle that I hate <laughs> so much. <laughs> fuck it <laughs> god damn but yeah like from that point on it it wasn't as much zombies as just villagers and people like it, they're not as scary because they're people they're talking fucking psychos but they're not yeah like, just i think that was you. more the angle kind of like in resident evil 7 it's like more just like the scary part's supposed to be that they're fucking they're people but they're crazy and you know it's just a different kind of a monster uh you just reminded me. I'm like, I was going to say, like, there weren't monsters that were scary in Resident Evil 7. <laughs> and I remember that bitch that turned into a spider. And that's the last time I played it. Well, the fucking the bitch. the molded were, I mean, those things are actually really fucking creepy. But the problem is 
that's the only thing you fight in the whole fucking game. So, like, once you see the first one and it's all scary and shit, it's over. <laughs> You've experienced it. And for me, that, or anybody that played the demo, you get to see that thing at the end of the demo. So it's like, before you even get into the game, you've seen the scariest fucking thing that game has to offer. When I first played the demo, I was like, you know, or the, uh, yeah, it was a demo. It just, I was like, this should be like a ghost hunting thing. It shouldn't be a resident. <laughs> then I played the game and it's like nothing like that. Like that's <laughs> just, the demo is just like, you play through the prologue, I guess. Yeah. I think they were kind of trying to do that on purpose to kind of mislead people so that so that when they went into it, they didn't know what to expect. But now but. it's just an endless game of hide and seek, <laughs> which is cool. Like I like more and more I'm enjoying getting scared to shit. Like I'll, I'll buy games that I know will fucking scare me. And I wasn't scared of them before, but now I am. I don't know what changed. Well, I do. But so it's just like I love it. <laughs> I love watching spooky stories and on YouTube, I mean, and yeah. So I'm going to get back into that game and try to do a Let's Play with it. Yeah. You should also play slash Let's Play uh, Outlast. I think that uh, one would scare the shit out of you. Outlast? Yeah. It's I've, really good. I've played, I've played that game. Um, oh, have you? Yeah, but I haven't like played all of it. Actually, I think I have it on Steam. Yeah, you should play it. If I have it. it on Steam, I could do a Let's Play. And it takes place in Colorado. <laughs> oh, I do. Oh, the best things take place in Colorado. Yeah. Yeah, I've played 63 minutes of it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and that's probably like being in the fucking menu most of the time. Yeah, you should give it a shot and go through the rest of it. It's a really good game and it's creepy as fuck. I'll do a let's play with it. So let's go ahead and get into updates and then we'll wrap things up. So for updates, again, moving <laughs> kind of stole my productivity. But uh, I'm still working on three Machinima videos, one of which will hopefully be posted before this podcast is up. We'll see how that goes. And cool. I still have one video posting every day for the remaining of October. I'm working on some updates for the website, which will implement the podcast and a few other things into the website. I'm working on some pretty cool stuff for Patreon that will offer like better rewards and more of them. So make that a little bit more appealing and rewarding for people that want to do that. I'm working on a full update video that'll kind of update every project that I'm working on, kind of like I did probably about a year ago. I need to get more consistent with making those update videos, but we'll kind of go th through everything thoroughly. And I'll try to do some time frames, but I'm not very good at that because making machinima is really time consuming and yeah, things pop up so frequently that it's really hard to nail down a specific time frame. So sometimes they go smoothly, sometimes they don't. Who fucking knows? <laughs> but uh, I'll kind of dive into that a little bit and kind of let you guys know what's going on there. And I have a super top secret project that's coming up. It's Machinima stuff. So I'll announce that once it's closer to to being a thing. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> Never. <laughs> And then, of course, stays episode 13, which is sort of stuck on the voice acting stage, just still waiting to get all that sent back to me so I can put it into the project and time it and all that good stuff. So it's close, but it's still a little ways away. Hopefully, I'm still going for next month, but uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, it'll be sooner rather than later. Yeah, I heard that Leon voice actor was being a dick. Yeah, and he, he takes his forever lines. to do anything. He's terrible. Yeah, and he's, he's such a dick. A dick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> fucking bitch. <laughs> Jesus. Anybody could do him. Wow. His voice, I mean. Wow. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's a whore. I <laughs> get it. That took a sharp I, turn. <laughs> no, nobody can't do his voice. kidding me? Wow. I think you can probably imitate him better. I would hope so. I try. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I have a stunt double ready in case I can't w record. You should get one too. But they're they're so expensive. No, I ain't paying her. <laughs> you, you have to feed them crackers. No. Wow. No. What if they no. die? That's that. That's their they, fault. Then they Fuck should them. have a fucking stunt double prepared for them. <laughs> <laughs> so the the stunt double eats for them. How? No. How if they die, work? they need to have a stunt oh, double. Oh, they're to, they're replacement. To come in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
So people just keep dying and keep getting replaced by well, other Hopefully by devils. the time, yeah, by the time they die, hopefully, like, I'm better and I can record again. <laughs> Meantime, fucking ten people are dead, <laughs> and then you finally come back. <laughs> no big deal, right, whatever. Like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even lines, it's just sound effects, because, let's be honest. That's all you need. All you need is sound effects. That's all effects. I do. Yeah. Sound effects and yelling Barry every two, every now and then, just make sure people are still... <laughs> All right, so before we wrap it up, Jazz, do you have anything going on or upcoming things you want to talk about or any updates? I just, I, I seem to be releasing uh, episodes of my Let's Play of Among the Sleep every Monday, if I remember. And if I'm I remember. Preparing, I'm preparing the next few episodes. If I so... said some shit like that, I'm going to be posting videos when I remember. I would be well, fucking I mean, like, crucified. I'll, I'll fucking wake up one day and I'm like, it's Tuesday. And I'll just go and like un like put it from unlisted to public because <laughs> I don't want to do like preset dates. Yeah, I know how that goes. <laughs> but I've got the next uh, few episodes recorded, and I'm just finishing up the editing. And then uh, I have a <laughs> issue with episode three uh -oh. for in the sense that like I'm not doing it. <laughs> wow, that's a pretty big <laughs> no, issue. I mean, <laughs> I mean, like I'm doing it, but I'm like I'm not like actively working on it. Uh, I'm just getting you know so sick of having. That? I'm sick of playing <laughs> the game. <laughs> I'm like, Revelations is dead to me. It was not really. Uh, I just gotta like work up the. I'm gonna work on that tomorrow. So hopefully soon there'll be something for that. And I've got a new machinima coming up that I'm gonna keep secret for now. Ooh. You already know about it, so shut up. <laughs> Well, well as, as long it. as I know about it, that's all that matters. <laughs> I'm in it. You're, you're Am in like I? everything. Let me pull a jazz. Uh, there, was, <laughs> there was one that I've been working on, and it's like pretty much done. I was working on a voice actor, or I was waiting on a voice actor, and things fell through, so I'm just going to go ahead and replace him. And, uh, well, like, because, you know. Oh, I know I kind of, <laughs> all the other voice actors who worked so hard to, like, especially uh, my friend Melody, she worked so hard to get, exactly what i wanted from her and i i feel really bad like not releasing it and even myself like my character i gave myself nosebleeds recording for that character and i would kind of like that to end up in something and um if i can get it done within the next few days it would be a really good halloween content that i could give you Ooh. yeah because like you know i haven't already given you one. wow wow but this one's like done all it needs is like Final touches and that boy, which I could get. Oh, and there's another character, but you know, it's you. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could twist your arm. Maybe uh, I think I think maybe there's there's a small if chance. You want your video? <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, cool. Yeah, hopefully you can get that done, and we'll have another Halloween machinima video. If not, I'll still give it to you. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> So that's a story for you, but I'll tell you next week. Yeah. So stick around for next week's story yeah, time. Yeah, if you want to hear the most retarded story in the world, come back next week. <laughs> come back next week for retarded story time. Retarded story time. Potato po story time. Potato story time. Oh, yeah, we, we have to be politically correct. 2018. Can't be calling potatoes yeah. retards. What's that quote from The <laughs> Office? You don't call retarded people retarded. You call your friends retarded if they're being retarded. <laughs> <laughs> like, Such a good line. It's something like that. Oh, it's good. <laughs> All right. Well, that's going to be the end of this episode. Join us next week for more gaming and survival horror goodness, updates, discussions, and probably some other stuff. So thanks for watching. Have a happy Halloween, and we'll see you next week. Bye.